everyone, welcome to the Jada and Stitches show and welcome to the garden. <laughs> today we have got a really cute six petal flower coaster for you today and you can make these in any color you like, especially if you're, you know, never really that far away from your garden. I love these for the inside, I love them for the outside and they're just the perfect little simple bit of decor just in time for the spring, maybe the summer. You could even make them in nice fallish colors in time for mums for the fall. Um, this is best made out of cotton because cotton is heat resistant, it washes well, and they can be tucked away into a small little cabinet. A set of them makes a nice gift. I've got one in red, I made one in blue, and I made one in purple too. I love this little pattern. It's so cute. You can also use this as a really large applique for other projects, in which case you can make it out of the same yarn and hook size that you would be making the other project out of. So if you're thinking like big flowers on a blanket, then you can use acrylic for that. Uh, but if you're using coaster, or make, going to use them for coasters, I recommend cotton because cotton is friendly to moisture and stuff like that. We get that question a lot, that's why I'm saying it up front. So let's grab our hooks and grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table and we will stitch up our own little garden of coasters together. In order to make our six petal flower coasters, you're going to want some 100% cotton yarn. Cotton is great for coasters because it's heat resistant and it soaks up water and it can take a lot of wear and tear. You're going to want around four yards of yellow or whatever color you want to use for the center and around 11 yards of red or whatever color you want to use for the flower part of your coaster and that's per coaster. So four yards, 11 yards per coaster. You want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and we're using a five millimeter hook. It's also known as an H or an eight, and that will help us keep our stitches a little on the small side. And that way we won't have any big gaps in our stitches for our little flower coaster. Once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to begin with our center. So grab your yellow, and we're going to make a cinch circle to start. Once you've chained one to secure your circle, you're going to chain two more. And this chain three will not count as a double crochet. In fact, we're going to skip over it when we get back around to the beginning, but we will get there together. Let's double crochet 10 times into the cinch circle. So 10 double crochet stitches worked into the circle over top of that little short tail because we're going to cinch the circle shut with the tail. Once you've worked 10 double crochet into your little circle, grab the short tail and cinch it up nice and tight. You're going to skip over the chain three and join with a slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. I'm just going to sneak my little short tail into that. And that is 10 double crochet in row one. We're going to chain three. We are not turning our work. We're going to double crochet in the same place that we just chained out of. So double crochet into the same place and work two double crochet into each stitch all the way around until you get up to the false stitch. And the false stitch is this little guy right here. It's often looks like, see it looks exactly like a stitch, but we get that when we join with a slip stitch and chain three. So it kind of ends up working as an extra stitch or sometimes we skip it all together. But Today we're going to be using it, but we will get there together. Once you've worked two double crochet into each stitch all the way around, that brings you up to the false stitch and at this point you should have 19 double crochet. We're going to work one double crochet into the false stitch, skip the chain three and join with a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. So we'll have 20 double crochet. You might have a little bit of a bowl shape happening. That's fine. That means that your stitches are nice and tight, which is good. You can snip your yarn, fasten off. You can weave in your tail if you want or work over top of them as we continue with the pattern. And you can just tug on those rows a little bit. It will lay flat. So no worries if you've got a little bit of a bow happening because this is going to flatten out with use. It's going to flatten out with the shape of the flower and a little bit of tightness is good. 
when you're making things like coasters because with use the stitches will kind of ease out a little bit and it's better to start too tight in a situation like this than it is to start with even or loose tension. So a little bit of bowing is fine. Let's grab our flower color now. We're going to grab our flower color now and put a slip knot on our hook and we're going to join with a slip stitch and we want to make use of both the place where we've joined our yarn so if I highlight it with my hook this spot right here right below that knot and we also want to use the false stitch which is this little guy right here just sort of to the right of the knot if you're working left-handed this would be just to the left of your knot so this is how we're going to join our yarn we're going to slip our hook underneath where that knot is join with a slip stitch chain one the chain one doesn't count as anything we're just going to kind of bring up our work and we're going to half double crochet into the same place we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and now we're going to start our little repeater pattern so we want to get from 20 stitches which was the end of row two to 30 stitches at the end of row three so the little repeater is two half double crochet worked into the next stitch and one half double crochet worked into the stitch after that so two half double crochet in the next stitch and I'm just working over top of my little short tails and one half double crochet into the stitch after that so two one two one two one all the way around and I'll catch up with you at the beginning once you've worked that little half double crochet repeater pattern of two one two one all the way around we'll be back at that false stitch you're going to work one half double crochet into that false stitch and then skip over top of the join and your little chain one find the top of that first half double crochet you made and slip stitch to join and that is 30 half double crochet all the way around if you still have some bowing don't worry because it will smooth itself out as you work on the rest of the pattern and if it's really really bowling on you don't worry because <laughs> with use it will flatten out so no worries T tight tension isn't a bad thing with this pattern let's start making our petals so for row four we're going to begin our petals we're going to chain two to begin and double crochet into the same place as the chain two so this is how we start each petal chain two double crochet in the same stitch into each of the next two stitches you're going to work two treble crochets so that's yarn over twice pick up a loop you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over back through two yarn over back through two yarn over back through two I find it helps to hold on to the bottom of that stitch while you're doing the crocheting because it gives you a little more control over those taller stitches so two trebles in each of those next two stitches there we go and into the next stitch we're going to repeat what we did over here we're going to double crochet chain two and we're going to anchor it with a slip stitch right down here and there is a little petal so chain two double crochet two treble crochets in each of the middle two stitches and then a double crochet chain two slip stitch into the next stitch and that anchors your petal slip stitch into the next stitch that's a little spacer between our petals and then we'll start another one slip stitch into the next stitch chain two double crochet all into the same stitch into the next two stitches work two treble crochets and then finish off the petal with double crochet chain two and a slip stitch all into the same stitch so chain two double crochet 
two trebles, two trebles, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch. And of course we slip stitch to space between the petals and then slip stitch into the next stitch to begin the next petal. Chain two, double crochet, and so on. I'll let you work away at that. You'll have six petals at the end of row four. Once you've worked six little petals all the way around your flower, the last thing you're going to do after you've double crocheted, chain two, and slip stitched into that last stitch to finish your last petal, you'll have one stitch left, just slip stitch right in there, and we're going to go right into row five, fifth and final row, and it's all single crochet. Around every single petal we're going to do this. So here's our chain two that began. We're going to single crochet into each of those chains of the chain two that goes up the side of the first petal and might feel a little tight, that's okay. You're going to single crochet into each of the six stitches that go around your petal. So that's the four trebles and the two double crochet. So single crochet in the top of each of those stitches. There we go, make sure you get the last one. And then that gives you your little chain two at the end and you're going to single crochet into each of those chains. Again, it might be a little tight, that's okay. Just get them in there. So, single crochet in each of those two chains, single crochet in each of those six stitches, single crochet in each of those two chains, and in between your flower petals where you've slip stitched before, right down into that same place where you slip stitched in the previous row, so the same place you're going to slip stitch. And make it a little long. It's kind of like a spike slip stitch. Then you start all over again. Here's that chain two. You're going to single crochet into each of those chains. It might be tight, that's okay. Single crochet now into each of those six regular stitches, the two doubles and the four trebles, all the way around the edge of your petal. And that leaves you with the two chains and you're going to single crochet into each of those chains. Let's make sure I've got them all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Single crochet into each of those chains. So it's always good to stop, count, make sure you're in the right place. <laughs> So that's a single crochet in each of those two chains. And then there's the little slip stitch in between petals. Just pull it apart, it's easy to see. And slip stitch all the way down there. And we are giving our petals a nice single crochet edging. So go away, go ahead I should say, and work away at the single crochets up the two chains, across the six stitches, down the other two chains, and slip stitch in between petals. And I'll see you back at the beginning. Once you're all the way back around, you can take a moment to kind of pull out those petals. You're going to slip stitch to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch of the last row. Fasten off. Weave in your tail and just flatten out that edge. And you'll notice that your little flower isn't bowing in the middle anymore. And once you've woven in your tail, that little coaster is ready to use. <laughs> I'm hiding amongst the flowers. I love this little pattern. It is cute for a coaster. It's also nice for an applique. And we hope you enjoyed making it along with us too this week. We hope to see you here soon again on the Jade and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a wonderful week. Bye everyone. Hi everyone. This is Mama and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe 
and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.